Hello, and thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to know when I'm on, whether it's live or recorded. Also, give me a thumbs up, and we're going to get started. If you'd like to place an order with me, go to StampersDelight.com. If you need a catalog, definitely contact me. I can get you one of those out. Also, don't forget to check out my new website, StampersDelightShop.com, where you can find some great little gifts for the stamper or crafter in your life. And we are going to get started. So, again, I have another Stampin' Up! kit that you can get by going to stampinup.com slash kits. These are not available in the catalog. You do have to order them online. Unlike Paper Pumpkin, which we love our Paper Pumpkin, that's a subscription, you can order these whenever you want. Just know that when they are sold out, they will not be back. So if you see a kit that you like, you want to grab it, okay? They are different prices, so you do have to look online. Don't forget to choose me as your demonstrator when you do that. And you are going to love these. So I am going to move this out of the way, and I am going to bring in another one of these great little card kits. Now, with the holidays coming, I also think these are make great gifts for uh, somebody that just wants to start stamping hasn't uh, crafted, or maybe some children in your um, household or that you know, because everything is really here for them to do. This one you can see I've already unpackaged. This is called Precious Parcel Card Kit. This was actually a paper pumpkin one several years ago, but one of my favorites. And we are going to show you, we're going to get started. I always say we, like there's somebody here with me. Okay, so inside here we have... Some little clips. We also have some baker's twine. We have these cute little embellishments. These little guys that look like stamps. And then we have our inserts. And there's two different ones here. We have our sentiments. And of course, they're um, in different languages. So I want to make sure you use the right one. We have two bases. This is the first base that says post in the dark green or light green. And this one is the dark one. Okay, we have those. And then, of course, we have these great envelopes already decorated. Now, I'm not going to use anything extra, really, in this kit, except for my bone folder, which is seen better days, and my take your pick tool, two of, two of the things I can't live without. I'm going to bring in those directions again. And we're going to get started. So let's take a look at how many cards we get. So there's four of each. So these, this is eight cards you're going to make. And you can mix and match how you want to do them. But we're going to, for, for today, we are just going to do it the way the instructions. Look at these great instructions. Nice, bright, not a lot of reading, right up my alley. I'd rather look at pictures. So we're going to move this aside for a minute. I'm going to grab the dark green one and that's how you're going to fold it. Okay. And this one right here already has the tape on it. Okay. And we're just going to fold that right up there. Just like that. Take that piece out. Okay, I mean, there's the, there's your mailbox already done for you. We're going to grab this. And let's see, we are going to put a stamp on that. Okay, I'm going to grab my glue. You can see, you don't need to put the glue on it. That's what these little embellishments are for okay so what we're gonna do is I'm, I am gonna stick a little glue on there just because I don't want it to come off but you don't have to remember I said you use everything that's in the kit you don't need any extra stuff and then we have one of these little clips I'm gonna add that right to it oh my gosh this is so cute I want the larger size. And whoop, these might be a little tricky if you have nails like I do. Okay. 
So we put that little clip on it, just like that. This goes right in here. Oh my gosh, look at this, right? All right. Let's see what else do we have. Oh, the little gold pieces for the mailbox. We are gonna add those to the bottom here. They are already sticky. Whoop. We're gonna add that right in the corner of the mailbox. Just move that to get that right in the corner. And then grab the other one. Now we have that. We're going to grab our sentiments. And this one is sending a note. That's already sticky, so that's going to go right here. Oh my gosh, so cute. This is a great thing to do with your kids. Buy a couple and all sit down one night and just do some cards. And we are just going to tie the baker's twine in a little bow here. Scissors. And I am going to grab the blue dots. Oops, that's not, there we go. That was just something else. Grab the glue dot and place that. Let's see, where does it show on the directions? Again, you don't have to do it exactly like the directions, but for this video, I am right below here. We're gonna add a glue dot. Look at how cute. Look at how cute that is. So you have this little note card, you write whatever you want on this little note card, but then when they open it up, they can sign it or add more writing. So there's the first one. And of course you already have the envelopes already done. Aren't they adorable? I love this, I love this. Okay, let's grab the other one. And let's see how they did this one. Okay, so this one is basically the same. We're gonna close this up. Remember the tearing tape is already on there for you, which makes it great. Now I'm just gonna fold that. I'm gonna use my bone folder. Put that one down. Grab that beautiful rose. And I am going to grab the yellow one. There's two different um, stamp flowers on here. Okay, so this time I won't put the glue on it because you really don't need it. You got that little clip. Okay, let me put that on there. This goes right inside there. Oh my gosh, these are so gorgeous. And let's see, we are going to use the other sentiment, which says sending thoughts. And again, you can stamp from your um, stamp sets sending, you know, whatever sentiment you want inside or just write a personal note. Go ahead and do that. Look how easy these are, no time at all. But they make great gifts too. I know every one of you have that stamper in mind that has everything under the sun. Well, card kits are always a nice gift. And you can also add some of our bling embellishments if you want. And I just noticed something on here. So let's back this up because actually, see, now you know it's a live video. You can poke those holes through there. Let's see if I can open that up. I'm just going to open this up because you don't have to glue that. 
I told you I didn't do this one. I wanted to do it with everyone watching. Hence, I make mistakes. Okay, let's pull this out. There's the little holes. So you put the baker's twine through the holes. Hey, we're learning together here. Put that right through there. I should have done that with the other one. Too late. Okay, now let's close it back up. Now we can tie the bow. Well, I showed you two different ways to do it. If you don't want to put the put it through there, you can use the glue dot. <laughs> hey, if I had to be perfect, I wouldn't be stamping. I am the imperfect stamper, but I have fun doing it. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let me bring back in my insert right here. And bring in my other card. There you go. Now I'm going to show you something else. So now this is it. This is your, there you go. You got your cards. One of the other card kits that I purchased was the, um, a note of cheer, and we had these great little iridescent gems, which of course they always send you more than you need. So I'm just gonna add some of those to this card, just to add some gems to it, and to show you that you can, you know, change it up a bit. Just adding a couple. I'm going to grab one of those real small ones here. Just to add some bling to it. And there you have it. Now remember, you're going to make you're going to make four of each, so you have eight cards. So don't forget to check out StampinUp.com/kits for the stamper in your life or for yourself. Get together with your friends, purchase the kits, and just have a crafting night. Grab some wine. Or grab your coffee, grab your tea, and stamp with them. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Until the next one, don't forget to subscribe. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.